hey guys welcome back to my channel AG motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to name it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 20 second long. And background color is white color. And simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles section. Then press Ctrl Y to create one solid background and lock this layer. Then you will select uh, text tool and I'm going to delete this fill uh, I mean uh, stroke I don't want any stroke and I'll choose bluish color for this uh, fill and I'm going to choose Oswald regular font you can choose whatever font you want and I'm going to type my first text like motion let's say then select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size somewhere around like this let's make this full resolution now select this text right click go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss and increase the size to 100 like this and or let's say 50 and increase the softness almost up to 60 or 16 percent and shadow color uh, is black and opacity i'm going to choose 20 so we will get this kind of structure like this now I'm going to select this text layer, I'll go to the effect and presets panel and I'm going to type page turn effect and simply double click to apply. After applying effect, you will get this anchor point over here and if you move this, you will get this page turn effect. So initially, let's move this uh, anchor point somewhere around over here at this point initially or let's say somewhere around over here. I think this looks good then select this and create one keyframe at fold position and hit u go to around two seconds and move this point from here to let's say over here okay and let's go to the start let's make this fit and if you see you will get this kind of animation now select this text layer and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's hide this first layer i'm going to select this layer go to the character menu and choose white color for this text and go inside this uh, minimize this effect and i'm going to delete this layer styles we don't need that right click go to the layer styles and this time i'm going to choose inner shadow so you'll get this kind of inner shadow go to the inner shadow over here let's choose opacity 20 percent like this and size we will choose 50 somewhere around like this so we will get this kind of thing then uh, i'm going to select my first layer which is this blue layer hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top, bottom and let's hide this second layers like this and now we will hit u and if you see uh, my animation is ending at this point over here so let's go to around two seconds i'll enable my first second layer and i'll move this over here then go to around four seconds i'll select my this layer and i'll move this over here like this then go to the start select both of these layers and hold alt open square bracket to trim these layers up to this so now uh, let's make this third resolution we will get this kind of animation over here like this if you see this thing in full resolution you will get this kind of structure okay so this is how we will get this then uh, let's select both of these layers press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we will call it as animation like this okay and let's go somewhere around four seconds maybe and let's hit n over here like this okay so we will get this animation in the form of loop then select this uh, layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it uh, go to the effect and presets panel and apply find edge effect on it like this and uh, select this layer go to the blending mode and let's choose screen or let's choose multiply let's say like this and let's move bring this downwards with the help of arrow keys uh, or uh, let's hit ctrl z 
we have to select this first layer and then we have to move this downwards and then move this somewhere around over here like this okay either you can bring this at the top or you can bring this at the bottom also it's totally up to you i'll bring this at the top over here i'll press t for opacity and i'll make the opacity of them to let's say 40 percent like this then select the second layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply and increase the distance to 20 increase the softness to 50 or let's say 100 like this uh, let's move distance to 30% and decrease the opacity to 30 and fill color I mean shadow color I'm going to select this blue color over here okay so we will get this kind of structure over here and if you want then you can select this first layer and you can decrease the opacity up to 10% only it's totally up to you and uh, if you want then you can decrease the drop shadow uh, effect opacity up to 50% also and if you want then you can skip this uh, portion also it's totally up to you uh, so uh, this is how you will get this kind of uh, you know flipping animation for this in continuous format like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation